Hi everyone, so I'm going to show you how to make a stuffed envelope and the envelope that I'm using is a what we call here in the UK is a DL sized envelope which measures eight and five eighths in length by four and two eighths across. Um, so I just draw, drew, I draw what I was going to say, I just drew that on there, wrote, wrote that on there I should say um, because I have one already coffee dyed. So it's already coffee dyed. You don't have to coffee dye it if you don't want to, but I want to coffee dye. Well, I did want to coffee dye mine. So I've gonna, I'm just gonna fold that over to measure two inches, and I have already chopped the top off. I'm using the seamed, you know, the where the flap is glued down. I am gonna use that um, on that side so that I cover most of that up, so that that side is like completely, you know, flat and not bumpy. I have got a collection or a selection of papers that I'm going to be using. These are from Antique Papery and um, this one I'm going to use to make some tags with. So I will chop that up and make some tags with. And then this one here I'm going to use to decorate the actual envelope with. So um, then I have a little collection of things that I'm going to stuff inside. Like I've got this postcard, I've got this word th uh, thankful, which is actually going to go on here somewhere, um, maybe or maybe not, something like that. Who knows? Um, I've got a little circle thing that um, is going to get popped onto that scallop circle. Again, this is, this is from Antique Papery. I may actually just do something like that. Who knows what's going to happen? These little squares, I'm going to make some um, altered paper clips with. I have a couple of little journal cards. I have two of these spools, which I'm going to back all these, um, but I've just cut them roughly just now. So I don't want to fussy cut them out twice because I'm going to back them lazy like that. Um, <clears throat> so that's possibly what I'm going to use. And I have got some of this lace um, that I will be adding on here. So I may not use that word yet. Uh, who knows? Right. So first of all, I'm just going to... I'm not going to really do any real measuring or anything like that. I'm just going to pop that on there, like so. Just making sure I'm in frame here. Um, I know there's a little tiny bit of glare from the, a light somewhere there. So I don't know what I've done with my pencil. So I'm just going to mark there. Now I'm going to try and do this without getting my tr paper trimmer in at the moment. <laughs> I'm just going to fold that on there like so and just trim it down there. It's just a bit awkward trying to get my paper trimmer in when I've got this set up going on. I'll probably knock the camera. So I'm just going to trim down there, stick that to the side. Then I want, I want that to obviously go behind there so you can you can see that I will want that to be about here and then I'm just going to mark that there so that that can go like underneath and again I'm just going to fold that and line it up you could actually just do the tearing method and so that will go on there this piece here I will want that to go on there and I am going to mark that there so if I can see that now because it's right on the the blue blue piece. And I'm just going to tear that. There we go. I was hoping that wasn't going to mess up because I'm on camera. <laughs> you know, you know how it goes, don't you? As soon as you hit the camera then um, everything starts going pear-shaped. So I'm going to ink up around there. You don't have to ink up if you don't want to, but I'm going to. And ink up there. I hope you're all having a good weekend. Um, my upload Uploading videos is still taking forever at the moment. It's really driving me crazy. Um, it's just because I'm out here in the shed. Um, 
it was bad for a while and then it got better sorry i'm just thinking that up as well uh it was bad for a while and that's why i stopped doing the lies because i just couldn't get you know a connection um and now it's gone all bad again just when i was starting to think oh maybe i should start doing some lives again um i've got a booster which i need to bring out here to see if it actually works um but it's supposed to plug like a wi-fi plug so need a baby wipe here <clears throat> Um, I just want to dry that because these glass mats actually, you know, they really do hold the water on here. Right, so I'm going to glue these pieces on. You can use whatever glue you like. I'm just going to put the lid back on there. I'm trying to be good putting the lid on things, she says, and she picks that up and the lid hasn't been on it for hours. <laughs> so I'm just, just doing around the edges, really little bit in the middle just to make sure it sticks uh, just add a little bit more for good luck <laughs> okay now I want that I'm gonna have to stand up and make sure I get this in line okay I'm just gonna use the paper towel here to push that down There's my, there's my little bit here. So I'm really kind of bunged up. The heating is on in here and it's so dry. It makes my nose all blocked up and I end up like breathing through my mouth. <laughs> Just as well, I can still do that. Otherwise, we'd be in serious problems. <laughs> I couldn't be breathe through my nose. I mean, yeah, through my mouth. <laughs> okay, right. So I'm just going to put that on there like so. I may actually do the back as well while I'm at it. I have um, I have on my uh, let's let's make a playlist how to do the um, like the stuffed paper bags. Well, this is quite similar, really, just a smaller version. There we go. And then I've done another pencil line somewhere. I don't know where it is now. Let me see. Oh, yes, there it is. I mean, by all means, I've lost it again. By all means, use a paper trimmer and measure it out properly. Right, so it's there. But, you know, some people, you know, don't have all these things. Which, to be honest, you don't actually need it all. It's just, uh, you can do perfectly well with um, using your eye or using a ruler and um, a craft knife. Okay, let's get that glued on. Just making sure that's the right way up. So we are just now going into um, week two of our second lockdown and um, I just said without sounding like really depressing but this lockdown even though it's only for four weeks seems worse than the first one and the first one we were on for months <laughs> I think it was the novelty um, you know I know it's uh, somebody else said it. I can't remember who it was but, you know, the first lockdown, you know, it was, you know, we were all doing stuff that we'd never done before. You know, it's cooking, baking, cleaning, just, you know, going crazy because you're all that time off. This one, I think it's just because it's the time of year as well, like coming up to Christmas and, you know, we're very restricted on, you know, what we can do. We can't see anyone at the moment. You know, it's like we'll be, the left should be on the 2nd of December and you know we've got like two and a half weeks to like you know get christmas sorted if we're lucky <laughs> right so that's that done that's that and that's opened at the top you could actually if you wanted to slip a little bit of paper inside there but i'm not gonna because it's just gonna take more time 
Right, what I'm going to do now is, I will have to bring my trimmer in for this now. Um, I'm just going to measure the length of that so that I know um, the length of my tags. So I'm going to do my tags at say five and <clears throat> five and a quarter length by two and a half and I'm only going to do two. Right, so <clears throat> bring the paper trimmer in and I kind of want, so that was five and a half I said wasn't it? Yeah, so I kind of want to use this bottom piece of this, um, this piece of paper. And what did I say? Two and a half, yes. So, two and a half. I'll have that piece there. Two and a half. Right, so I want two of those. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so that's my two tags. I'll have that and that to stuff the stuff, <laughs> stuff in there. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back all these. I'm not going to, you know, it's just simple. It's just glue and putting them onto. I think I might just put these onto um, coffee dyed paper. Once I've done that, I will be back. Okay, so everything has been backed um, that I'm going to be putting in the front pocket of the envelope. Um, I've inked all around just to save some time. I'm just going to top them with some ribbons or whatever I find in here. <laughs> uh, we'll use some of this, I think. The mess I have. I am just a, just a pure mess everywhere. Even though I've tidied up, I, I don't really... Um, <laughs> I don't keep things tidy for long. So I'm just going to chop two little pieces off of this. And I'm just going to use my stapler. I'm just going to put them into a V and I'm going to put that onto the tag. If you want to sort around this, you can do. Um, but I'm just doing this for quickness. Okay, so that's me got two tags going in and that can just slip in like that. I just wanted something to break up all that kind of pink. <laughs> um, these little journal cards I want to top with something. Um, I'll use some of this. open and frame. I did have to move the camera when I was um, doing all the other bits. I had to, well, I didn't have to move the camera, it's my phone. I had to move, take the phone out, off the cradle I should say. I was just hoping it was back in the right place. Okay, just checking that the script is the right way up because sometimes when it's really tiny um, I can't see. <laughs> I need to have my eyes tested. I'm not them tested in a while. Um, so that's another two little things going in. I mean, these can be um, these can be used for happy mail. Um, nice little thing to send off to someone. You can also actually just put that straight into your a journal um, as a pocket or a floating pocket. These I'm just going to keep like that. What side is that? I'm just making sure again the writing's the right way around. And these, um, <clears throat> you could put little eyelets in them and then put some fluffy trim, but I'm not going to do that just now. But that is an option for you. So they're going in there like that. How quick was that, really? Right. I know we're not finished yet. So I'm going to make two little paper clips. Um, I need some cardstock. I'm just gonna. I don't think I've got any co uh, coffee dyed at the moment. Sorry, I've just moved the camera. So what I'm gonna do is, um, first of all, I'm gonna glue these on to there, like so. I'm just gonna use my glue stick to do that, and because I want to use my pink and shears around them. So I'm giving a little bit of space around there. Oh, I'll just have to wipe that up. 
should have got my book, but I don't know where it is. When I tidied up, I've moved it somewhere and uh, can't find it. And that one goes on there. Okay. It's rather windy outside today. Okay, so I'm just going to rub that down. Get my pink in shears, or you can use any form of decorative scissors. And I'm just going to, actually, first of all, I'm just going to cut that off. I don't want to get rid of that big bit of paper. So, <clears throat> keeping it quite close. Kind of make it look like a, a full stamp actually. Sorry, I've gone all silent, it's kind of concentrating. <laughs> okay, right, let's get this little bit of glue up. I've got so much stuff in my way. Do you find that you start making something before you know it? You've, you're working in a tiny little space like that and you're, you've got clutter of things everywhere. So I'm just going to ink up around the edges. Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold this like that I'm just going to see if that's yeah so I'm going to fold that over to about let's see what that is about two and a half inches um, and then just trim down there and I want these to be I might actually take another little bit off of there so I'd probably do two and a two and a quarter, I'd say. Not even good at lining things up. So I'll just take that to about there. As like I say, I do just eyeball a lot of this. Yep, that's about fine. And what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna leave the bottom a little bit bigger because I'm gonna put some trim there. And I'm just gonna do the same. With that one about that okay and then I'm just gonna ink up all around the edges you could use pattern paper if you want to or cardstock but I'm just doing it like this <clears throat> that's how I done the other ones in um, I showed you the video of the stuffed paper bag the other day Okay, I'm just going to stencil <clears throat> just around the edges because we're going to cover that up in the middle. Uh, maybe a little bit on the other side, just lightly. Don't want it too much. Sometimes I can get a bit heavy handed with this. So that's that done. You'll obviously need paper clips. Okay. <clears throat> So with the paper clips, because I want one going on, um, like one for a right hand side, one for a left hand side, I will put that there and that would be going on to your right hand side page. This one, if I turn it that away and do that. Straighten that up a little bit. That can go on can see lefty righty and then I'm just gonna glue around you could use a hot glue for this put a little bit inside and around the paper clip and then just fold that down and then do the same on this one going to push that out just a tad 
There we go, just a tiny tad, because I think I'm going to make two little bead dangles to go on them. So I'll just push it out so that it can actually go in there. Okay, so then I will just glue these on. And keeping them more to the top so we've got a little bit of space down the bottom. Okay. These are just really simple altered paper, paper clips. Okay, so I'm just going to look for a little bit of trim. <clears throat> I've got this one, and I like this trim. I don't know if you can see it well. Little hearts. But then when you glue it on, like with a flat edge, the hearts are always at the bottom. And I think they should be the other way around. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> so a little bit there and a little bit here of glue. And I'm going to put these on. Hearts upside down. And then I need to move some stuff to find the little scissors. Okay, I mean you can dress these up as fancy as you like, but I'm just doing it quick and easy. I just don't want this video to be way too long. Okay, right, I need to find my little butterfly star uh, punch. Go. And I'm just going to punch out, this is a Martha Stewart punch, oh, I just want the larger butterfly. And I'm just going to ink up around the edges of that. Okay, oh, I need some bling. There we go. Little dot of glue on the back. And I think we'll have that there. And obviously they need a little bit of time to dry because I've used the, like the tacky glue on the cardstock. It just takes a little bit to dry. And then some bling. Just pop that on there. Oh damn, I actually wanted to put a little bit of cheesecloth behind them, but I forgot. So, next time. I shall do that next time. Right, I want some mesh bling now. And that's just this stuff here. And I want two pieces of three. And hopefully my glossy accents isn't all blocked up, which I know it probably will be. I haven't used it in a while. I just use a paper clip to get in there and unblock that. And put a little bit of bling. Up there. Like that. And this one will do down here. There we go. Just like that. How easy was that? Quick and easy. Okay, right. Is there anything else I need to do? Yes, there is. Okay, I'm going to just set them up out of the way because I want to make something. Obviously, I've got to decorate this. I've got to find my trim. Okay, so kind of want that. Oh, that was something else. When I was waiting for things to dry, I outed that for this because it's a little bit smaller and I'm going to put that there, I think. Okay, so I'm going to ink this up. Let's 
go in a little bit. I don't want to see any white on that. Put my little word there and my glue stick again. And my circle, which I'm just going to glue. I don't have any issues with that glue whatsoever. Um, Pritt stick itself, cannot get on with it. It's a horrible glue. <laughs> so expensive as well. Yeah, I find it very tacky, like very gloopy and it dries up really quickly. Um, like in the, in the stick thing. Okay, so I'm going to put some glue on here. If you've got fabric tank this would be um, the time to get it out but as some of you know I don't use it. I was actually so tempted to buy some the other day um, because just for its quick drying um, but because of my sinus issues I was like oh I don't know I've got enough, enough problems going on with my body right now if I add into them so I'm just going to put that on there like that and where's my little scissors? I need to get my big ones out for that. These scissors with like these handles are for my fabric. Um, occasionally I accidentally use them. There we go, that's that. Right, where's that little word? Okay, I need to back that onto a little bit of cardstock. So I'm just going to use that glue stick again because that was just printed out onto um, like a paper. Right, this is where I will use my cheesecloth now. I've got a little bit in here. This is my scrag ends. I've got actually got two boxes of scrag ends. <laughs> this is just one of them. All right, so I want to ink up around there first as well. Yep, okay. So I'm going to do another one of these in the next few days, but I'm going to be using a Christmas kit to do like a Christmas one. Um, because why not? <laughs> okay, well, I need to put a little bit more on there. Oh, causing a commotion there. And I'll just plonk that down there. Nice technical word, plonk. Okay. And this will go, she will go there because she's pretty. Well, I'm not going to need a lot of glue for this, but. Just kind of putting it through the middle of there. And. Putting it on. Okay, I'm going to make two bead dangles. So I'm just going to gather my beads and I'll come back and I'll show you how I make the bead dangles. Okay, so I have found a selection of beads and two little tiny ones here, which I'm just going to feed through. I have done a video on how I make these anyway. So I'll put them on frame here because I've zoomed in a little bit so you can actually see because these are tiny. And a little gold bead. You can see that. So I'm just going to use my round nose pliers. I'm just going to bend that that way. And then I'm just going to kind of go halfway up there and then just go round and round and round and should be like centered doesn't always work that way but that's what i aim for okay 
Okay, and I'll just bend that to the side like that. Halfway down, curl it around and around and around and around, <laughs> and it should be pretty centered. Look at the state of my fingers. So that's both the beads. And to add them to that, I'm just going to lift that slightly, put that in, and there we go. We have that dangling there. Same with, oops, same with the other one. Just lift it slightly, just enough to get that in there. Go up and around, and there we go. You could add, you could add it with um, like a jump ring or something else, but that's just easy enough. So um, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so just made these as you've just seen. Sorry, I had to just uh, pop indoors for a second. Right, I've got this piece. So I've printed that out at. Um, let me see if I've got another one which is a little bit more shabbier. Yes, go for that one. Um, because I don't know what I've done with my pocket now. <laughs> there it's there, still drying. So what I'm going to do is just take that like that and then fold that over like that. And in my other one, I um, the one that I made, uh, the stuffed envelope, I made like a little booklet. I'm just going to do exactly the same but I'm not backing this one because of otherwise um, it might actually get too thick so I'm just gonna fold that in half that's just some coffee dyed paper I'll do two sheets of them it's just to make a quick little kind of booklet type thing to put inside the top of the um, the envelope. So what I normally do is I'll just take that in a little bit like that from my pencil and take that to about there and that across there and then trim that. Um, I wonder if that's actually in half. No, it's not. Never mind. So I'm going to line that up, find my blade. Okay, that's the smaller piece. Just by a fraction. Can you believe that? Do you know what? I'm actually just going to take the smaller piece. Um, and just trim that down like that and then just do the same just do the same actually fold that like that get the cutting over and done with in one in one scoop just put that in Actually, it's better to do it that way. Sorry, confusing you now. Yeah, better to do it that way. Put that in there. And I find my ruler that's buried underneath everything. I'm sorry this isn't like a really short video, and you know I like to try and do short videos, but some things just can't be done that quickly. As simple as that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop and I'm just going to ink up all the, all the edges and then I'll be back. So I've inked up all around the edges. Actually, I forgot to do the outside. <laughs> I've done the inside. Oh dear, what am I like? This is because I'm starting to think this video is getting way too long and I don't want to bore you. Um, Ah, there we go, that will do. So I'm going to bring in my long reach, I was going to say screwdriver, <laughs> but I'm not using a screwdriver today, not in this project. Right, my long reach stapler screwdriver. Oh, jeebus. Okay, 
so and I'm just going to find the centre and just make sure it's all lined up properly like so can clip it um, and then set that in there and do three staples they're a bit off it's because I can't put my head right over but they're normally not too bad and we have that and I'm going to do one more I forgot about doing this actually so um Oops, I did away. I thought. Okay, so I'm going to use a square, I think. Yeah, I'm going to use a square. I don't have any, can't find the scallop circles that I, I die cut. So I'm just going to trim this. I'm just going to back that onto some cardstock <clears throat> with some glue just like I done when I was doing the um what you call it the paper clips okay to wipe that up pink and shoes or decorative scissors whatever you've got just make like a little full stamp Ink up around the edges. And okay, so I kind of want that about there to keep that closed. Obviously, there's quite a bit of paper inside there. Let me see if that will actually hold. Yeah, it should do. So I just put a little bit of glue down the bottom. I'll just kind of centre that a little bit. <clears throat> and there we have that. And that should pop in the top of the envelope. Just like that. If you didn't want to do that, you could just add bigger tags. Um, and then these. I will just attach them to the tags and that one on there, still a bit tacky. And then that one will go in there, just like that. So there we have it. I wouldn't say it's quick and easy, but it well, is pretty quick, um, but it's easy. It's definitely easy to do. You don't, you know, and you can use scrapbooking papers, cut out your own shapes, use your die cuts if you want to, you know, your dies and, um, you know, for things like that shape or the body form, body forms, um, dress forms. <laughs> um, so, yeah, quick and easy. I'm just going to let that dry a little bit more before I kind of pull away that. So there we have it. The back is just decorated like, a, you know, you could actually put another pocket on the back of there, but I'm not going to do that. I might do it off camera. Um, so I will give this away. Um, so if you comment below, um, one comment only, um, I will leave this open for a few days. I'm just trying to think what day it is now. I'll leave it open to uh, the 20th. I'm just going to write that down so I don't forget. So the 20th of we are in November, aren't we? November. I will close that. Um, and I'll do a drawing. So um, whoever I pick out will, um, I will send this to you. So you've got four days. And um, like I said, I'm going to do the Christmas one as well. And I'm going to do the same with the Christmas one. I'll give that away as well. So watch out for that. I'll probably do that in a couple of days because I've got other things to make. So yeah. So if you have any questions, just ask. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.